Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachai Kodash. Once send double honors unto the elders and apostles, a great millstone that taught us his truth and that continued to feed us with knowledge and understanding. Peace, love, and salutation is unto the hopeful elect. You are hitting the highways and the hedges week in and week out, presenting your body as a living sacrifice. This is the brother you call a month with the great millstone Nebraska camp coming back once again with another lesson. And um, Lord willing, this is edifying through the spirit of Bashim Al Shai, Bashim So, um, you no, know, I was at the plantation, and uh, during the downtime at the plantation, I did a lot of meditating. And one of the things that came across my mind is how Jake, they'll ask for things from the Heavenly Father, but what are you doing? For Yahweh Bashim Shai to deserve these things. Okay? As the book of James tells us, uh, it says, He asks and you receive not because you pray amiss. Praying, praying amiss is you're not praying for things that are profitable. You're not praying for things that are going to forward the ministry. You're not praying for things that are going to uh, forward the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai. You're not praying for things that are going to help you grow. You're praying for things upon your lust, you know, which is that's that's rampant among our people. All right. Which is why I have the book of Proverbs, the 15th chapter. And I'm going to start from. Um, I'm going to start from verse 29. All right. But um, another point that I want to make before I read this is, you know, what Jake does when they ask a miss. And they don't receive. OK, one thing that they do is they curse the most high or they, they stop believing in the in the heavenly father, man. And they do the same thing when uh, one of the th a, a close one to them is, is taken away by way of death. All right. They start cursing the most high or they saying uh, the most high doesn't exist. They come up with something. You know, when things don't go their way, Jake. <laughs> Our people are big ass, big ass babies, man. All right, goddamn brats. When you when you pray to the Most High, you pray to the Most High for things, as I mentioned, that are going to um, be profitable unto the ministry, really, that are going to help uh, complement the ministry and give glory to the Heavenly Father, not things that are going to make you look good in front of people, not things that are going to. Uh, um, they're going to satisfy your, your worldly lust. Okay? Because the book of James tells you what? It tells you that the uh, lust bring forth sin. And when sin, when it is finished, bring it forth death. Right? The Most High, He knows what's necessary for us, man. All right? Now, the reason, uh, another reason why I have this scripture up, you know, is because Jake being ignorant to the things that I mentioned as far as you know, praying amiss. They, they they still want to continue in their, their worldly carnal lifestyle, okay? So that's why I want to get this book of Proverbs 15 and 29. And it says, the Lord Yahweh is far from the wicked. Now, when that word wicked, it has a couple of definitions. Um, and when you go into the book of Job, I believe Job, the 20th chapter, right? They're... Um, there are two occurrences where the word wicked is mentioned. And when you go into those, both of those um, definitions, they give you, um, or both of those words, they give you two different definitions. Okay, which let me see. Because it mentions how, um, first and foremost, it mentions uh, Esau being the wicked, but it also mentions the wicked as far as the laborers. OK, so let me see. I have to find it in my sword. It's much easier. All right. Because <clears throat> I don't. Um, my mind serves me correctly. The book of Job. I'm going to get into these definitions, man. Um, it may be the fifth chapter. So it's a lot here. Job. Nope, no, Salakia, Salakia. All right, this is the book of Job, chapter 20, and <clears throat> verse 22, right? And it says this, 
It says, uh, first, I know Salaki, I mentioned uh, five, five, Job 20 and five. It says that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment, right? And when you go into that word wicked in that um, that particular verse, the Hebrew word is Rashai, which says wicked, criminal, guilty one, one guilty of a crime. All right. And you look at the works of Esau. Esau is guilty he of multiple charges, man. You touch the, the apple of the Lord's eye. All right. Uh, what's another thing you did? You um, you were you were um, during slavery. You were you were bringing down vicious hell on us, man. Cutting the wombs of of pregnant uh, pregnant Israelite women, taking the babies out and, and and killing them. Okay, buck breaking, removing a landmark. You know, hey, it, and his rap sheet continues, man. Today, everything that's every um, everything in Esau's constitution, all the laws that he set up, are are they're against the heavenly Father. You're guilty of multiple things, okay? Which we could be here all day mentioning the things he's guilty of, okay? Now, when you um, when you go down to verse twenty two. OK, it says in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Right now, when you go into that word wicked, the Hebrew word is I more, which is laborer, sufferer or workman. OK. Who, who's uh, who, who's the, uh, um, the sufferer, man? Who's suffering? What nation of people is suffering upon this face of the earth, man? All right. As a whole, the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, man, because we're subject to the curses. So there are two different definitions of the word wicked. OK, now now um, going back into this, the book of Proverbs. OK, it says the Lord, Yahweh is far from the wicked. And that's talking about Esau and Jacob. All right, <laughs> because they, I just proved to you that the word wicked is talking about it's talking about Jake and it's talking about Esau. It says, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. So when you um, when you see a man of the Lord who don't who don't um, who's not up to par as far as this Babel, the Babylonian customs, you know, hey, as the word that they call it now drip. Which is having all these different types of. um name brand things, expensive things. Okay, which is nothing wrong with that, but we no as a whole, we're not up to par on that. We pray for things necessary. And how about Shimei if it's his will, he grants us that he grants us uh, um the funds to be able to do that. But we are, our job is to take care of the ministry. To tend to the will, tend to judgment, to the flock. OK. To prophecy. We're praying to be prepared for these things. OK. So this is why when you see a man of the Lord who is fashion fashionably up to date, best believe you how about Shimei um, Oshai. He, he's doing the willy. How about Shimei Oshai, man? OK, that's the difference between us. And men in the world. So that, that the whole point of this lesson, you know, because it, it, it's, it's vexing, but expected that Jake asks, asks for things and get mad when they don't get it, man. What have you done for y'all about Shemiah Shai lately, man? When the last time you prayed to you about Shemiah Shai when you wasn't going through something? When the last time you fasted for your how about Shimmy How Shy? When the last time you 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 uh, gave alms, paid your ties? When have you done these things, man? And this is not something that we boast and brag about, but it, these are facts, man. Hey, how about Shimmy How Shy? He don't take care of the, the, the wicked, man. And though Jake 
though you are the most highest only begotten child, the only, only begotten and fervent lover, his chosen, his inheritance, so on and so forth. If you ain't doing what he told you to do, don't expect no, no blessings, man. Not from him. You now Esau <laughs> Esau has the power to bless too. Esau can he can bless you with <laughs> with some things that you don't need because he hey that that that's why you got so that's why you got Jake that's that's they, they say the scriptures contradict themselves or they say Yahweh Shemi Al Shai don't exist because they they'll be doing their evil and certain uh certain things that they did ask for or happen. Satan can grant those uh grant those requests. But you notice that when you get these things, all right, shit will start happening to you for, for, for evil's sake and not for righteousness sake. All right. So in order to to live your life safely and live your life uh, uh, um, in a content fashion, you got to pray to your Habashim al Shai. You got to do the work of your Habashim al Shai. You got to have faith in your Habashim al Shai. And you got to do it just just playing out doing what he asked you to do. As the book of uh, Micah, the book of Micah says uh, six and eight, it says he has showed us all good things. What do he require of us but to do good? And to do good is everything that I mentioned. All right. Hey, so um, I'm going to I'm going to leave it off there. That's the point that I wanted to get. So, Lord willing, that was edifying. And, um, you know, hey, through spirit, how about you, man? Shy, Lord willing, I'm able to come back and put up another lesson, you know, um, that's edifying. All right. So, hey, shalom. Call Allah, you how about you, man? Shy, by Shimachak, or Dash, Rock a thumb. Double honors unto the elders and apostles, a great millstone. Peace, love, and salutation unto the elect. Shalom.